The Final Four tomorrow and the NCAA, the schools, the networks all raking in millions, if not billions of dollars over the lifetimes of some of these TV contracts. But an important part of the games doesn't get a dime. Now I'm talking about the basketball players. Players led by former UCLA star Ed O'Bannon, and they're suing to get their slice of the pie. The case could go all the way to the Supreme Court. Uh, so the question is, should the players get paid? You know, I, many of you guys probably seen some of the 30 for 30s. They did one of the Fab Five, and that was with the Michigan team with Weber and Rose and Howard and all the rest. Five freshmen, really. There's one part in it where Jalen Rose said, you know, I was walking by a store and I saw my jersey up there for 90 bucks. And I was struggling to find money to put gas in my car. And I knew that this was a business that was no longer a game. Hopefully I didn't butcher that. I've heard this forever, Dominic. I still don't think it's possible to pay them. Um, I think it's more complicated. But you were at Syracuse. You were in the players' dorm. Not that you played hoops. Um, but um, and let's get that clear. But, uh, but nonetheless, nonetheless, you think they should see a piece. Richard, uh, just to divert for a second, I had this conversation with my niece the other day, and she said, Uncle Dominic, you would be the mascot, the round, <laughs> the round. That's, that's not Except funny. Not orange, yeah. <laughs> Richard, okay, let, let's put a little perspective in this, all right? And I'm going to use Syracuse because I went to grad school there. So every time the orange suit up, it's like the New York Knicks are playing in central New York. 30,000 people, the band, the concessions, Everybody is getting paid. I love Coach Beheim. Coach Beheim makes about $5 million a year from the university. Now let's add his television show, his radio show, the Nike contract. And all the meantime, frankly, he's traveling to projects of America looking for the next buck to take him to the promised land. And that buck is supposed to go from the projects with food stamps and welfare to all you're going to get is all a right. meal all plan. All right, I only got a few minutes to let them chime in. I think you've made your point. <laughs> let me guess, Mr. Politics, you're going to take the middle ground. Well, probably. Yes. <laughs> um, I, I feel for the athletes, they, they're jealous uh, and they work hard. But there are lots of uh, benefits that they get, uh, life uh, lessons and life experiences that nobody gets uh, playing at that level uh, and learning from their coaches and their teammates and probably some other benefits. <laughs> but I would believe that if they got paid, it would really have a tremendously negative impact on these young people uh, handling that kind of money. I believe that the money that the university earns off of their uh, efforts, these athletes' efforts, should go for more scholarships for more athletes and for non-athletes at these universities. And I'd go, here's an idea. How about a retirement fund, a 401k fund that, uh, that gets, yeah. they are, would, would get, could uh, be available to them when, let's say, they turn 30 or 35. They want to start a business. They want to buy a house, but not put so much money in the hands of these young people. I like the I idea. I think it would be destructive. But where do you come down? Congressman, if, oh, here if, it some, comes. if somebody yeah. said, well, maybe we shouldn't pay congressmen as much or put them in a retirement account because you're in Congress, you clearly can't handle your financial responsibilities. I think you'd be a tad insulted by that. Let them have the opportunity to succeed or fail with handling their own money. If there was any other multi-billion dollar industry in the country, and that's what this is, a multi-billion dollar industry, where the people who are generating the revenue weren't entitled to a piece of that money, it would be considered indentured servitude or slavery. Okay, here's Andrew, the wait, there is just, One is a job, let's say even congressmen, <laughs> or uh, that's a job. And you uh, versus someone going to school, let's say even on a full scholarship with full living expenses. So they're really not apples they're and putting, apples. They're putting in they're 70, 80 hours. Here's, here's why I think you're all. A it's not just a basketball team at Syracuse, okay? Syracuse, because of Title IX, has to have women's sports. Um, they have to have sports that aren't revenue generators. I played baseball. Baseball team doesn't make a dime, okay? Football and basketball are the only schools that make any money. Now, how about D2 schools? D3? Well, I mean, at what point do you say you get money, you don't get money? Does the starter get the same amount as the scrub, the 12th man on the team? Pay them commensurate with the revenue generated by the sport. Okay, does everybody on the team get the same amount? Yes. Okay, now, how does it work uh, in terms of the other sports in the team? So only the TV contract athletes. So we're going to now designate the, the, which the sports that generate the revenue are the ones that the revenue is shared by the people generating the revenue. Do you do you think that these athletes who right now are distracted enough from their studies by all of the 
attention and benefits they get from being uh, in these uh, situations with these these national caliber teams. Do you th don't you think they'll be even more distracted from their academic work, which actually is the reason they're supposed to be at the college to learn stuff and to get a degree, which will trouble. allow think, them, think, which will allow those not going to I, the NBA or the NFL I think you made, to have a good I job. Think, uh, you made my argument for me. It's a wonderful life lesson. That you guys put keep away fighting on this one. Um, when we come back, I've been wanting to talk about this all week. Food fight over politics. Kasich hits New York and he commits the cardinal sin of eating pizza with a knife and oh. fork. Chris Christie, Dominic loves this one, caught at a basketball game pouring a bag of M&Ms into a box of M&Ms. We got more on this stuff. Can anybody save these guys from themselves? Stay with us.